Hello students, I'm Imkong Lapungan from Department of Anthropology, University of Delhi. Today we will be discussing on the module Primate Social Organization from the paper Human Origin and Evolution. Well, the learning objectives of the module are number one, to learn about the primate features, number two, to learn about primate social organization, number three, to identify the characteristics of primates. Firstly, let us discuss briefly about primates. Primates cannot be defined as one or even a few traits share in common because they are not so specialized. So humans have special interest in the group of animals known as the primates. In addition, it includes ourselves to prosimians, monkeys and apes. Humans are the part of nature and the primates are our closest relatives. Older primate of class Mammalia includes lemurs, tarsiers, monkeys, apes, and humans. Non-human primates live primarily in subtropical and tropical regions of Africa, Asia, and South America. In the size, they range from most lemur at 30 grams, that is 1 ounce, to the mountain gorilla at 200 kilograms, that is 441 pounds. Now, why the anthropologists are concerned with the primates. Anthropology is the study of human being in space and time. Anthropology has four branches, that is physical anthropology, social anthropology, archaeological anthropology, and linguistic anthropology. Physical anthropology deals with the biological origin, evolution, and genetic variation. In primatology, See, primatology is a sub-branch of physical anthropology and in this, anthropologists are more concerned about the ways of living, of primate behavior. Evolution of primates. The first primate, like mammals, are referred to as proto-primates. They were about in resemblance to squirrel and tree shrews in size and appearance. The surviving fossil evidence, mostly from North Africa, is very fragmentary. The oldest known primate like mammal with a relatively robust fossil record is Plesiotopus, although some primatologists do not agree that Plesiotopus was proto primates. Approximately, primates have been dated 55 million years ago. Plesiotopus forms had some features of teeth and skeleton in common with true primates. They were found in North America and Europe in the Cenozoic era going by the end of the Eocene epoch. The true first primates were found in the Africa, Asia and North America in the Eocene epoch. These early primates resemble to the present-day prosimians such as lemurs. Anthropoids monkeys evolved from Brosimians during the Oligocene epoch. By the 14 million years ago, evidence indicates that monkeys were present in the New World, that is South America, and Old World, that is Africa and Asia. New World monkeys also called as platyrine, you know, it referred to their prognosis. Now this picture shows the howler monkey that are native to South America. Old world monkeys are called catarine because their nose are narrow. At the end of the platyrine arose, the continent of South America and Africa had drifted apart. New world monkeys appeared for the first time about 30 million years ago. The evidence suggests that Africa is most likely a continent of the origin. Therefore, it is believed that due to this reproductive isolation, New World and Old World monkeys underwent separate adaptive radiations over millions of years. Old World monkeys include arboreal and crown dwelling, whereas New World monkeys are arboreal. Apes evolved from catarines in Africa through the Cenozoic during the Miocene epoch since 25 million years ago. Apes are generally larger than monkeys and do not have a tail. Traditionally, primates have been explained as the results of an adaptation to arboreal living. While other mammals were adapted to the ground dwelling, 
lifestyle and even in the right environment, the primates, that is the apps, are more intelligent than monkeys as they have relatively larger brains in proportionate to body size. Now, features of the anthropoids. Monkeys, apps, and humans, they have a large average body size, larger brain in absolute terms and relative to the body weight, reduced reliance on olfaction indicated by the absence of urinarium and other structures, increased reliance on vision with forward-facing eyes placed more to the front of the face, greater degree of the color division, back of eye socket protected by a bony plate, blood supply to brain different from that of lemur and lorises, fusion of the two sides of the mandible at the midline to form one bone, more generalized dentition absence of the dental comb and some other features. Differences in female internal reproductive anatomy, longer gestation and maturation periods, increased parental care, and more mutual grooming. Now the features of hominids, that is apes and humans, they are generally body size is larger, exception in gibbons and siamangs, tail is absent, short trunk, longer arms than legs only in apes, more complex behavior, anatomical differences in the shoulder joint related to an adaptation for suspensionary fitting locomotion, more complex brain and enhanced cognitive abilities, increased period of infant development and dependency. Hominid apps are found in Asia and Africa. Small body Kipon and Seamang, you know, they lived in Southeast Asia. Orang Utan subspecies lived on the island of Borneo and Sumatra. Gorilla, chimpanzee, bonobos were occupied in area of Western, Central and Eastern Africa. Now let us discuss some primate behavior. The main aim of primatologists is to determine how primate behavior influences the reproductive fitness and how ecological factors have shaped these fact behaviors. Primates are among the most social of animals, social behavior occurring in social groupings, even some may think of social behavior like feeding and mating. Social behavior. Primates pass through the following developmental stages. There is number one, infant, a time during which a primate is dependent on its mothers, juvenile during which it is mature animals. It has been observed that primate juvenile period is a time of great learning, and this learning period is not only from parents, but it is also from interaction with other members of animal group. Also, it has been observed that many social skills which are necessary for life necessity are learned during this period. During early adulthood, that the secondary sexual characters begins to develop, for instance, increase in male body size, long robust canines in comparison to the females. This play important roles in the behavior of those species possessing sexual dimorphism. This extended period of development and growth is one of the hallmarks of the orders of primates. Primates are socially organized animals who travel, eat, and live together in groups. There are few species that are more solitary than others, such as orangutans, tarsiers, and calicos. It has been found that primates possess many different ways of expressing themselves socially, like hugging, touching, grooming, mounting, lip smacking, vocalizing. Three fundamental types of social organization can be distinguished as neighborhood and solitary, pair living, group living species. Now let us see what is neighborhood system. Fact of the solitary species is the general activity and particularly the movement of different individuals that are not synchronized. In social animals in which two individuals synchronize their activity in space and time. The term solitary elements of the social systems are that it's necessary nor useful to introduce mating systems terminology to characterize social organization that is known as dispersed polygamy. 
The social diversity of the solitary primates are extent of range overlap with members of the same and opposite sex, occurrences of sleeping groups and their sexual composition, primates in bears, Permanent association of one adult male and female defines bear living species. Thus, there is not only coincidence of male and female ranges, but also synchronized spatial association between the bear. Males and females ranges overlap closely and are neither consistently associated during the period of activity or always sleeping together. It has been reported that majority of the primates live in bisexual group with like greater than three adults. This set them apart from other mammals in which permanently bisexual groups are much less common. Variations in the numbers of adult males is the most striking feature of the primate group composition with far-reaching consequences for many aspects of male and female behavior. It was identified that the number of female in group and their degree of reproductive synchrony are important determinants of the outcome of the dichotomy. Let us see the chief characteristics of primates. The primates have characteristics of their own. They differ from the species population both in character and passing through an accelerated phase of transformation and equilibrium. Anthropological approach to human and non-human primate behavior and cognition predicts biological specializations for social life. Focusing on non-human primates, you know, let us describe how the primate brain might implement social functions by co-opting and extending pre-existing mechanisms that previously support non-social functions. These specializations for social behavior reflect a rich evolutionary heritage of adaptation to group life. Like humans, many other primates also live in large groups characterized by patterns of primate behavior. And, you know, the patterns of primate behavior are as follows. Grooming, imitative, cooperative foraging, differentiated affiliative relationships, ritualized courtship, mating behavior, competitive interactions structured by social dominance, and not surprisingly, the ability to deftly navigate the social environment has observable consequences for reproductive success in some primates. Anthropological approach to the study of primate social behavior is powerful in the extent to which it is encompassing and holistic. By presenting the evolution of social behavior through a lens of social function and have you know, provided evolutionary parsimonious lines of reasoning and evidence along with tractable avenues for future changes. Now let us discuss primate cultural behavior. One important trait that makes primates and especially chimpanzees attractive as models for behavior called as cultural behavior. Although many cultural anthropologists and others prefer to use the term culture to refer specifically to human activities, most biological anthropologists consider it appropriate to use the term in reference to non-human primates too. Language. Now, one of the most significant events in human evolution was the development of language. Already described several behaviors and autonomic responses that convey information in primates. But although we emphasize the importance of communication to non human primate social life, we also have said that non human primates don't use language the way humans do. The view you know, this view traditionally held by most linguists and behavioral psychologists has been that non-human communication consists of mostly involuntary vocalizations and actions that convey information solely about the emotional state of the animal, that is, either anger, fear, and so on. Now, let us discuss the factors that influence social structure. The first factor is body size. 
As a general rule, larger animals require fewer calories per unit of weight than smaller animals because they have a smaller ratio of surface area to mass than smaller animals. Since body heat is lost at the surface, larger animals can retain heat more efficiently and so they require less energy overall. The second factor is diet. Since the nutritional requirements of animals are related to the previous two factors, all the three have evolved together. Therefore, when primatologists study the relationships between diet and behavior, they consider the benefits in terms of energy, that is calories, derived from various food items against the cost, that is the energy expended of obtaining and digesting them. While small-bodied primates focus on high-energy foods, larger ones don't necessarily need to. For instance, gorillas eat leaves, feed from bamboo stems and other types of vegetation, and they don't need to use much energy searching for food since they are frequently surrounded by it. The third factor is pretation. Primates, depending on their size, are vulnerable to many types of predators, including snakes, birds of prey, leopards, wild dogs, lions, and even other primates. Their responses to predation depend on their body size, social structure, and the type of predator. Typically, where predation pressure is high and body size is small, large communities are advantageous. Now let us discuss the relationships of primates with other non-predatory species. Many primate species associate with other primates and non-primate species for various reasons, including predator avoidance. When they share habitats with other species, they exploit somewhat different resources. Now the next factor is dispersal. Dispersal is another factor that influences social structure and relationships within groups. As is true of most mammals, members of one sex leave the group in which they were born, their natal group, about the time they reach puberty. Male dispersal is the most common pattern in primates, that is in ring-tailed lemurs and macaques, to name a few. Female dispersal is seen in some species like the baboons, chimpanzees, and mountain gorillas. Now let us discuss something about the distribution and types of sleeping sites. Gorillas are the only non-human primates that sleep on the ground. Primate sleeping sites can be in trees or on cliff faces and their spacing can be related to social structure and predator avoidance. Now, let us see the activity patterns of primates. Most primates are diurnal, but several small-bodied prosimians and one new world monkey, that is the owl monkey, are nocturnal. Nocturnal primates tend to forage for food alone or in groups of two or three, and many hide to avoid predators. Now, let us summarize this module. Primate social organization is complex since there are different kinship. Sex, age, rank, dominance represented in groups. Relationships are frequently cross-cut by subgroups which are composed of long and short-term alliances. This increases complexity. For instance, grooming alliances may not have only short-term consequences Long-term are also established when males groom a pregnant or lactating female, an activity which magnifies receptivity by the female when she resumes sexual cycling. Mating in mammalian systems are found to be in maturity in among the primates. It includes the monochemy, in which males and females typically mate with the only one member of the opposite sex and roughly equal variances. Also reported by the researchers that among primate polychemy systems also exist, that is, 
when males roam widely in search of the receptive females. So it can be said that both partners met with the several partners. Females defense polykyny exists among primates. To sum up, there is variation within species and sometimes even within population in mating and social organization patterns or both. Dominance. Reproductive success also hypothesizes for high-ranking females who have greater access to food than subordinate females do. This is because they obtain more energy for the production and care of offspring. The social organization of group living primates has been more intensely studied than that of the other primates, so the variation of the group size and composition as well as the underlying mechanisms are comparatively well understood. That's all for this module. Thank you.